So, in the series of learning C programming, we are discuss discussing previous year gate questions on functions in C. We have discussed two questions. Now, in this video, we will discuss this question, right? We will write in this question and we will see what output you will get, right? Step by step and then I will show you practical also. We will run this on my laptop and see you are getting the same output or not, right? But before that, I just want to tell you one thing. If you are looking for a great career in software development, then you must think about the aspects like what's trending in the industry. The questions being asked in the interviews, what is the thought process behind the great application like uh, Zomato, Ola, Instagram, Flipkart, Amazon. So here an academy brings you a platform where you can get access to weekly shows which you can watch live and the host of these shows are working in some of the top companies like LinkedIn, Amazon, Google and our 7 star coders on Codechef and uh, industry experts having years of experience. So here they will be covering the content which would be really helpful for your career like in the live episodes, you can ask tech HRs about the top 20 questions being asked and the industry leaders about the recruitment process in the top startups and MNCs, what is the eligibility criteria and how to apply for them. Not only this, you can also participate into mock interviews and learn courses on programming languages, cloud computing, blockchain and crypto, data analytics. And there is one more show in which the host would be analyzing. The application covering all the major aspects like introduction of the app, how the app started, monetization model, basic functionality and interface analysis, coding that is used for the front end and back end of the app. And he'll also discuss the programming language uh, you know, using which the app is built. So if you are curious to learn about a famous consumer internet apps and what goes into building product like them, then this show is definitely for you. So the detail of the show and the batch you will find in the link that I'll put in the description box of this video and don't forget to use my code JKL10 to get 10% extra discount on your subscription. So now back to the topic. Whenever you, uh, you know, run this program, first of all control will go where? Main function. So some memory would be allocated to main function, right? Now in main we have for loop. In for loop this is what? Here we are, this is what calling of function, function name is R, right? Here also initialization also we are calling the function at the place of condition, we are also calling the function at the place of that increment or decrement, we are again calling this function, means three times we are calling this function. I hope you know the working of for loop, right? So see, you have to just follow the steps, your steps, you don't need to worry about what is written over here, right? Just follow whatever is written here because I know you are, you know the meaning of this thing. This is what function call means. Whenever this, this function call, the compiler will see function call, where control will go, the definition, the definition of this function is here. So now the control will go here, right? So now in memory, we have this function also, r. Now in r, we have static int num, one variable that is num and in num we have 7. Static means this also we have discussed in previous question like static means the, the lifetime of this variable would be throughout the program. It will hold its previous value. Static variable would be initialized only once they are not going to reinitialized. Means we are not going to initialize this again and again. Right. See now here it is having 7. Now return num minus minus. Minus minus is what? Post decrement. This is post decrement. So first of all the original value of num would be returned and after that the value would be modified, right? Make this thing very clear. So original value of num is what? 7. So it would return 7. So 7 would be returned where? Here. Now here we have 7. And now the value becomes 6, right? Now after initialization, now in the for loop, the working of for loop is what? We check the condition. So now control will go here. Now at the place of condition also we are calling this function R. So again we are going to call this function, right? Now in R we have one variable, it's not like that this num would be again initialized with 7. Why so? Because it is static, so it will hold its previous value. So previous value was 6, so it is going to hold its previous value, right? Now once control will go out of this, maybe you are thinking that the memory allocated to this num would be vanished. No, because it is static. That is why I have told you the lifetime of this variable be, would be throughout the program, right? So it is containing 6. Now next value, next line is what return num minus minus. Again post decrement, so it will return the original value means 6 would be returned. Where it will return? Here. We are calling this here now. So here we have 6 now and now value becomes 5, right? Now after checking the condition, 
condition is true or not here we are not having zero zero means false other than zero it will be assumed that true so we have six so it is true true means we are going to enter into this for loop so in for loop also we are going to print percentage d and again we are calling this r so now again control will go where here now here we have a num variable it will hold its previous value because it is static so now next line is return num minus minus means original value of num would be returned where here we are calling this function here means it would return here 5 means it will return it will print what 5 first and now value becomes 4 minus minus right now after printing what where the control will go here increment or decrement part in the for loop in increment decrement part also we are calling the function right it's okay calling the function means again control will go here right now static int num is equal to 7 but it is static so it will hold its previous value that is 4 only return num minus minus first of all it will return what 4 original value so where it will return this time here so here we have now 4 and now it would be minus minus like 3 it will become 3 right now after checking the con uh, this, this after doing this increment decrement where control will go again check the condition that is true or not but again the control will go here so again it means what again this function would be called so now control will go again here so num is equal to 7 but it will hold its previous value now next is return num minus minus so now this time it will return original value is 3 and then minus minus it becomes 2 condition true yes because it's not 0 at the place of condition we have 3 so that is true other than 0 that would be assumed that true so condition true again enter here printf percentage d again call this function r control will go here and what original value is 2 so it will return what return num that is original value would be returned so it will print 2 and now minus minus so now it becomes 1 right so now where it will return here sorry here from here we, are, we were calling the function so now here it will return 2 so 2 would be printed and now becomes minus minus that is 1 after printing again go to the control will go to the increment or decrement part so here we are calling this function again so now the control will go here and it will return original value of num that is it will return this time 1 here where it will return here because here we are calling this function this time so it will return 1 and now the num becomes minus minus that is 0 so now check the condition now at the place of condition we are calling the function so first of all again we, are, we will call the function so it will return the original value of num original value of num is 0 and num minus minus now it becomes minus 1 right so where it will return here it will return so the condition is true or false here we got 0 it means condition is false 0 means false and 1 means true or other than 0 means true so condition false we are not going to enter into this this for loop exit from the for loop return 0 means exit from the pro program so now what output you will get 5 and 2 very simple you just have to follow the uh, the process the steps please don't just look at the program and see oh in for loop we are calling the function three times we are not initializing or we are not doing anything and don't get panic just follow the press process you know execution of for loop you know very well the steps calling of function you know very well where the control will go how it will return and everything right so it will print 5 and 2 so i hope you got this question let me show you practical uh, i mean just uh, let me just run this and see what output you will get right so this was the question we were discussing c now let's see let me just run this and see what output you will get see you are getting 5 and 2 so I hope you got the working of this question, right? So from the next video, we will start recursion. So now I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye. Take care.